Hello Aries and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This reading is what you're manifesting Aries versus how the universe is showing up for what you're manifesting and how they're going to support you or are they with your manifestation? Where are you at on this manifestation, right? So this may not resonate with all of you Aries and that is fine. Um, throw it out into the universe to someone who can use it, all right? So six cards for what you're manifesting, Aries. Six cards from the universe and any clarities that we need to help get the message clear to you on what it is you're manifesting. Let's get into it, Aries. Aries, what is Aries manifesting at this time? What is Aries manifesting at this time? What is Aries manifesting? Okay, Aries said, I'll talk about it. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm going to show you guys all the cards once I get them. Okay, Spirit just said this was this way. Okay. Hey, yeah, I got to pay attention. All right. Two more cards for what Aries is manifesting. We got a flipper. What Aries is manifesting, Spirit. All right. Aries, you may want to check. Let's see. If you're dealing with... Yes, I cannot think of who it was, but they had this same... Okay. You just have to go through them, Mary, or check the energy that you showed up to this reading for. Maybe it's that energy. All right, for the overall, we got the seven of cups under the bottom for what you're manifesting. So, Aries, with the seven of cups being under the bottom, I'm feeling like you feel trapped, stuck, or confused. So you're manifesting yourself right on up out of this situation. And the reason why I say situation person, place, or thing. This is what you're manifesting because you got the five of ones. You have the world card and the two of pentacles in reverse. There is some situation going around. you so conflicted within yourself, people around you, confusion. Um, I'm feeling Aries like I just don't get it. What is going on? It is so much mess going on around me. People fighting, arguing. I'm conflicted within myself about you know, where's my new beginning? What do I do? How do I move forward? And you are manifesting, you know, a new beginning to end the old cycles and to start anew. I'm also feeling there's been like so many relationships that just didn't work out, Aries. You conflicted. You thought they loved. They was going to show up with love and they cared and commitment and you worked on it and it was deceptive deceptive. Or, you know, it was just fiery energy, right? And I don't mean a fire sign, but it could be dealing with a fire sign like yourself, Aries. But this person just kept you up in your head, kept you conflicted about what it is that they wanted. And you're just tired of that cycle. And rather there's five people, you, I'm just saying, Aries, I don't judge. Could have been five different relationships, two, three, two, one, I don't know relationships that just didn't work and they keep coming back it's probably retrograde too and all of them keep calling and texting and trying to come back and you're just like you know what all this is conflict conflicting it is not working i need to manifest myself into a better position better understanding of what it is that i truly want for myself and so this two of pentacles is in reverse you're juggling coming out of maybe you had to juggle a couple of relationships and no matter which one you went to it just won't work right it just won't work and the two of pentacles is in reverse you no longer want to juggle this you want this to end in a new cycle to begin because you right there the, and the reason you want that you got the ace of cups you are manifesting universe bring you in a true love filled with abundance and joy somebody cup that's open emotionally available because you are so sick and tired of looking at these cups that was spilled maybe it was three relationships or you right now was feeling down and hurt because maybe it could have been a long-term relationship then work out or you've been just you manifesting uh, that the universe come in and bring you this Ace of Cups because you want your Ten of Pentacles. You know you want that happy place, the home, the cars, the kids, 
um, you know, the stability, you know, that equal give and take. You want it all. And right now you're so saddened about it. It doesn't seem to be showing up. And you're loving yourself and you know you got so much love to give. And you are now manifesting that the, first of all, the, that the universe removes this hurt and pain. And that you see it clearly remove this conflict from around you where you didn't understand or you do understand now that you want this cycle to end so that you can have your happy, you know, life, right? You want a committed relationship. You want someone who can accept your cup and they have a cup and everybody's cup is full. There's not a lot of conflict. There's not a lot of third parties and fighting and disagreements and sorrow. you like, I need to end this cycle, move forward, right? So right now you, 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 you're manifesting coming out of a hurtful place. And that's because you gave your cup to a situation, uh, Aries, and it didn't work out right. Maybe the two of pentacles is they were juggling that, you know, and you no longer want to be third, second party, third party, whatever it is. Rather, they had another relationship or just not committal or didn't want to settle down. You just don't want to settle for less anymore. You're like, I'm tired of playing these games or all this conflict. I need to cycle the end, universe. I need your help. I have a big cup of love. I know who I am. My heart keeps getting broken. I keep looking back at the past. And all I want is stability. I want my ten of pentacles. I want the person that loves me that I can show up for and the person that's going to show up for me. Um, and that's what you're manifesting. And right now you feel stuck and stagnant. And that is the reason why you started manifesting because you may have had, and then you got the seven of cups, you may have had several options and none of them, right, was helping at all. It's like no matter what cup I choose, I wind up right back here. <laughs> it's like, you tired, Aries. You like, I don't care how much I put into this and I try to move forward or have a new beginning. I, something I'm not doing right. You like, I'm always conflicted within myself about this new beginning and moving forward. And you're no longer juggling you against the world anymore. You're saying, look, I'm choosing me. I'm choosing me, and I'm not juggling this relationship, this person, is this right, is that. I'm going to let the divine do it and let the divine bring me in this cup that matches me, that equal give and take on my level. Our energies are the same. Like, I'm giving up. I'm done now, right? I'm, I'm not going to be sorrow anymore. I'm going to let the divine bring me my ten of pentacles because I want it all. Evidently, the way I've been doing it wasn't right. That's what I heard. Or I was taking less. Or I've been through too much. I'm tired now. This is enough. This is enough. Divine, I need you to come in and, and remove this. This is too much now. It's too much. None of these cups had anything. Look how these cups had. I went through all them cups. And you see how I wind up looking divine? No, no more. I need you to now come in. Come on now, Aquarius. This is going on. Wait till you see the next card, Aquarius. You said, now look, show me the clarity. I'm going within. I'm finna start healing. Show me what I need to do to give me the clarity to move forward and see what truly I deserve, how I got to heal myself, not accept anything less than this. And you talking to the universe. You going in the spirit, guys. You like... Show me the money. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, y'all. It, it's not money, but you like show. It might be money because you got ten of pentacles here. So you like show me what I need to see. And look at here. And guess why? How you doing it? Manifesting. Yes, yes. You're manifesting. Look at this. Look at this. This is you, Aries, on your way. So you want to know, are you manifesting and manifesting? If any of this resonates with you, yes. And you got the Ten of Swords under the bottom, right? That's the end of the tough decision, the end of a heartaches and pains and all the wrong decisions. you like, ain't nobody putting no more swords in there. I'm done. I'm, I know where to go. I know exactly where to go. I can't do this alone because I'm sick and tired of the results. <laughs> you like, I know what I got to do. I'm going to manifest love for myself, keep my cup closed, 
until the right thing come in. And I'm going to start by manifesting love for myself first and, and leaving all the rest of this conflict behind and let the divine come in and universe and help me with this and get me back on track. And that's, let's see. Let's see what the divine has to say about this, Aries. What do you have for Aries? What do the, the universe has for Aries in regards to what they're manifesting? <laughs> Y'all know I can't make this up. You can think I can if you want to. You can think I can if you want to. <laughs> that, and look, that, that you could definitely be... You could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, you're right. But the lover's cards is making a choice. You chose you, right? You chose you. Divine said, oh, no more conflict. You don't want to deal with the conflict and the different decisions that weren't working. You like, uh-uh. Eh -uh. I want truth and clarity in the universe. Oh, now you want truth and clarity? No problem, Aries. We just needed you to choose you. We can help you with this manifestation. Yes. Oh, now y'all look at here. Not, I, both sides. Y'all on the same page. Y'all on the same page. Okay? When you get the same, that's why I use two different decks. To see how close you are to your manifestation. It is on its way. It's on its way, Aries. The universe sees you and it's looking good. It is looking good for what you are manifesting. The divine say, I got your back. Truth and clarity now that you're... Oh, my God. This is out of control, Aries. Another beautiful reading. Y'all are manifesting. Boy, there's so many signs manifesting some good stuff. Ah, oh, The first set, they was like getting there. But some of them is in four balloons. Some I know. Oh, I can't even think of what all the best ones. I think Libra was beautiful. Uh, I think Capricorns was beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's some beauty. I mean, if you're dealing with them, yes. The star card. Now, the star card fell out in reverse. Now, we'll talk about, okay, because that don't, it just means it's some healing, seeing the truth. But it comes under the truth card. So, let me see if maybe the truth is maybe you left for Aquarius Aries. I don't know. Could have been. And you have the two of wands. And overall for the reading from the spirit, the high priestess. Now that, that wasn't what I thought it was. The spirit says it's not what you thought. It's not what you think. <laughs> Woo. Aries. Y'all are the last reading for tonight. This is beautiful, and I love the inner reading like this. Aries, let's talk about what the divine is saying. Divine is telling you what you're manifesting, right? You have chose you. You have the lovers, and you've chose to see the truth in the situation. Maybe in the past you didn't, and you was in denial, right? Could have been in sorrow, just being conflicted, not making a decision, two of pentacles juggling. And now you decided, you know what, that didn't work for me. And the universe sees that you're for real, that you're choosing you to have the clarity and the truth and knowing the love that you have within yourself and the love you want to share with someone or you will keep that cup closed yourself. You are realizing who you are. You are showing up to the universe saying, listen, I don't want the conflict, the lies, the cheating, the third party, whether it's you or just people around you. You are choosing you or you are choosing to have a lover that acts in the universe to have a lover that's uh, divinely guided, Archangel Michael overseeing your true love. And when it comes in, the angels are telling you this will be your true love. Love, there will be no doubt. You will not be worried about all this conflict over here because guess what? That you ask for an old cycle to end. The conflict, the juggling, the sadness, because you wanted your ten of pentacles. You want the universe to come in and give you a brand new fresh start. And guess what the universe said? Here's your lover. Here's the truth. Here's your brand new start. Yes, if it has not happened, Aries is coming. So get ready. You're going to be dealing with Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, or Virgo. Definitely could be dealing with a high priest or somebody very spiritual could be coming in. If you're very spiritual, Aries, and 
maybe you into tarot cards or maybe you do readings or uh you're just very spiritual and connected right and this is maybe what you needed all the time maybe you wasn't getting the right relationships that kept you conflicted they didn't understand you they didn't know how to work with you they didn't know and that's what i'm feeling with this um with the um star card in reverse i'm feeling like you know the clarity that the uh the universe is seeing that you see that what was in the past couldn't be healed could have been a relationship or several relationships that you got the clarity that i can't heal this i have to turn to the divine to help me this is not an ego give and take if i want to have a victory you had to make that choice to see it clearly that the past relationship was not a victory and that you had to make a choice to choose yourself a new beginning and now that you've done that right because this two of wands is this world card turning right this is the world this is the world you chose that right you you have the ace of cups this is the lovers making that choice for a fulfilled cup of love a equal give and take in a relationship divinely guided right this is emotionally lost right looking at those cups this is you finally looking at your very own cup and knowing what it is you have to offer and only gonna open it up to something that you feel is an equal give and take in a relationship no more playing these games with these five uh, uh five people or conflicted or situations outside of you that never worked out or you was putting the work in and it was just conflicting it just wasn't working right it just wasn't working so you manifest yourself right on up out of there and the universe says i'm right here i have your back now there's still some secrets you don't know and i gotta tell you what I see, Aries, right? You still could be working through this heartbreak. And a heartbreak would definitely, right? Because over here, you had the Siren Law. So it may be a little hard, a little difficult. And that's why you started manifesting in the first place. Because there was a heartbreak. But the universe is saying they got your back. And the secret is you're going to get past this. Don't worry about it. You could have been dealing with a long-term marriage, right? And they just would not committal or come forth and offer this beginning to you at all. They were stuck in their ways. I'm not saying it, what it is, but it could have been a narcissistic person, right? That just kept breaking your heart over and over. And the universe say, seen that. And the universe is like, the secret is they don't know that. You have the strength now, and there is going to be a new beginning for you, that this is what's in your future. And it may not seem clear to you yet, but this is what you're manifesting. And the universe has your back, Aries. You are on your way. This will all be over soon, whether it's a long-term commitment, a marriage, or whatever the situation is, it is now being handled by the divine. And you know why? Because you got Archangel Michael starting this out of how the universe is showing up for you. And that's because you made a choice and the universe is stepping in and putting a hand in this so that you could, so that you, now that you see the truth, they're stepping in to give you exactly what it is your heart's desire. Clarity, understanding, and a commitment that you truly deserve. That you will be happy to be in, emotionally open and available for this relationship. Because you made the decision to do the work. You may still be with also with the healing card in reverse. That may mean time, you know, divine timing. That because of this heartbreak here, you know, maybe you're still healing in the universe. Is maybe the relationship is not here right this moment, but it's coming because you may still have some healing and you don't want to hurt people to hurt people, right? So you may still got a little healing to do, but you will have a victory. You got the six of wands and the two of wands on the outside of this healing. So that means once this healing is completed, you got, you're got you going to have a victory. Once this healing is completed, then you know the universe will bring in that special person for you. That's that one, that new beginning. The end of old cycles and the beginning of new cycles. But the universe knows that you're healing and working on something. The universe is helping you heal because I truly feel that there is something that you need to heal from the past or that you're in right now. But it may be hidden from you at this time, but it's coming. You know, and just have the strength to stay in there because this new beginning is coming. Rather, it's just you 
seeing the truth in the situation, having the strength to move on and have a fresh new beginning, just even if it's just your cup. But I see the lovers here, no matter what, the divine matches your energy. They understand what you've been through and you they know what that you chose, you deserve better. Not the divine just chose it, right? It's what you're manifesting. You manifest yourself right on up out of that to a better situation, clear understanding of what it is that you truly want. And that's why the Ten of Swords is here. It's probably because of the Three of Swords. So with that hurt and pain sent you straight into manifesting what it is you truly deserve in life because you know how you, show, you showed up, right? And with... Um, the Queen of Cups here on both sides and the High Priestess, you're a very spiritual person. You're connected, right? And um, and right now, you're just looking to the divine to move you forward in this relationship, situation, or on your journey or path. So let's get some closing. Um, let's get a closing guidance for Aries. Spirit, let's get closing guidance. Okay, we got blame here. Aries, the universe is saying don't blame yourself for if you feel that time is not moving quick enough for you. But the point is you've made the decision to come out. Don't blame yourself for the conflicts of the past. Don't blame yourself for this hurt and pain. This person, if there was a narcissistic person, that's how they show up. And that's how they keep a person confused by having you blame yourself for a relationship or commitment that you had to walk away that you finally seen the truth in that was conflicting do not blame yourself L love yourself just as you're doing as the the universe sees you doing queen of cups continue to nourish and care for yourself if it's a male go get your hair cut get your suit get your shoes do whatever you got to do to make you feel good no don't let nobody put the blame game on you Definitely, I'm just hearing, don't let somebody come back and blame you for the situation. And I would say, you know what? I'll take the blame, but I'm still walking away. You can even do that. Release them in love and light. But somebody may come back. If you're dealing with someone very stuck in their ways and narcissistic, even if it's not narcissistic behaviors, right? Because everyone got some type of narcissistic behavior, right? Some just a little bit more toxic than others. But if they come back blaming you and you walking away, that's because they see that the universe has something so much better for you. And they know it. They can feel it. And the universe is going to ensure that they're standing by to see you move forward in this direction, heal and be abundant and, and, and be prosperous. And this is what they're going to see. They're going to see you in this victory, and that's what the universe has set up. Not that the universe is getting back at them, but the universe is saying, like, you tried to, you know, uh, what am I hearing? Manipulate the situation or a person, and, you know, divine doesn't deal with that, right? Not when you start asking, it comes straight up out of it and manifesting. What else is it that doubts? Okay, so this whole doubt thing is, yeah, this person, you could have definitely been dealing with a narcissist and self-esteem. Yes, work, Aries, continue to work on your self-esteem. Love yourself. Don't let anyone doubt you. You continue to move forward because the universe sees what you're manifesting. And if you let someone doubt or put you, you know, try and stray you off because you're still healing. That's why the... um that is why the sun car, the star card is in reverse because you're still healing. So, you know, the devil is always busy. So, you know, don't let him come in and make you have doubt. Oh, you ain't going to be able to move on. You can't heal from this. You can't make it without this person. Yes, you can. That self-esteem, work on it because that's where they got you at, okay? Don't let it come in. The universe has it. Let me get something else, universe. Give us this, uh, another card here because that just... No, 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 no. Service. I feel good when I can help others. If you got to go volunteer, go to places where people maybe even have less than you, right? To make you feel good, airy about yourself, go to a, a homeless shelter or donate. Do something that makes you feel service someone else 
right? That will make you feel good about what it is you do and where you're at, right? Because you've been servicing this narcissistic situation for quite some time. The universe is now get out there and do some, something for somebody that truly deserves it. Someone that truly would be thankful that you showed up and donated or gave them something or just something that makes your heart feel good because when you deal with a situation like this, you want to be able to give, right? Because with the Queen of Cups, your heart is always open. Your cup is open. You're nourishing. You're giving, right? And you're always trying to see the best in things and hoping things are changed. But you're still working on your healing at this time. So find someone that can really, truly use your service. Okay, and give to that. Now, if you don't have funds to give someone or whatever, just an encouraging word, a counsel, something, you know, just do something that makes you feel good when you serve. Tip somebody. I don't know. If you go eat, you usually don't tip that much. Do an extra tip. Just service something that someone that will appreciate what you have to offer. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Aries, so I wish you the best in this reading. Right. I was just saying that under the bottom. Gratitude. Be thankful for where you are because the changes is about to happen in your life. So be grateful. Have gratitude for that, that the universe is hearing what you're manifesting. And they're about to show up for you. And things are going to change in your favor. The heartache and the pain and deception and envy and lies and all that it's going to be over you're going to have a new beginning because right here the universe says they starts this off and this is the archangel michael being in control starting from out in the beginning the gate first line the is you know archangel michael with the truth and knowing where your heart sits and what it is that your heart wants and the universe is going to show up and bring it to you in that order Okay, so love and light, Aquarius. If this resonates, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. If you are not in this clear space of understanding yet, definitely uh, put it out into the universe. Claim this reading and uh, watch the miracles happen because everybody deserves love and to be loved. All right, love and light, Aries.